Hi, I'm Kate Rose. I'm the host at 21st Century Healthcare Consultants podcast, Home Care Today. And I'm excited because I've got a very special guest with me today. Her name is Lynn Labarda. And Lynn, I'm going to let you explain the acronyms that we have for you because you are so talented. You are so gifted and you are the symmetry person. If I was looking for someone, this is who we would go to. So Lynn, tell me a little bit about what you do and how you got there. Oh, thank you so much, Kate. Uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. And thank you for that lovely introduction. Um, So as you said, uh, you know, my name is Lynn Labarda, and I'm the VP, Vice President of Post-Acute Revenue Cycle Management with Symmetry. And I know it's it's a lot of acronyms, um, but basically what that means is I'm in charge of uh, billing, for uh, home help and hospice agencies really all over the country. I mean, that's that's what we do. We partner with agencies and help them successfully get paid. Tell me just a real quick overview of Symmetry's history, how you got started and where you are today in the industry. Well, Symmetry is, has a, an amazing history, um, a combination of really uh, 60 years plus in the wow. business. It's a merger between two uh, industry leaders um, and uh, original, the two original companies were Simeon and Blacktree. Okay. And they had been in the industry for, uh, Simeon, I think it was 50 years and uh, another 12 years for Blacktree. They got together uh, and formed Symmetry. So Symmetry is sort of a new union in the last three years or so. Um, and of course, there were a few other acquisitions as well, uh, just to make us uh, the the leaders, really, in the billing and coding space uh, in the home health and hospice industry. So these two companies that came together, mm-hmm. each in their own right, they yes, were powerhouses. Absolutely. So it's not like it's something new and at all without any time and grade. At all, at all. I mean, it's just made sense for those two, like you said, uh, powerhouses, leaders, to just merge together and create. Uh, a, a more robust and full service for the home health and hospice industry. So tell us about how you all come alongside and collaborate with home health care agencies that are out in the field. Mm-hmm. If I were someone who had my own agency and I was looking for someone to do billing, right. what sets Symmetry apart? You know, that's a great question. Um, I think that really it's the education that we provide agencies because so when you think of billing, you think of, uh, you know, pressing a couple buttons, sending off claims to different insurance companies. But the in- the very interesting thing about this specific industry, home health and hospice, unlike other industries uh, like physician billing or, you know, uh, skilled nursing home billing or hospital billing, um, is that there's it's highly regulated. And there are so many um, regulatory guidelines. Who does the regulating? Medicare, mostly insurance mm-hmm. companies mm-hmm. like uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield United. There's so many different billing uh, regulations before you can actually press a button and submit the claim. So, you know, the billing services really, um, our billing service, again, I mean, we specialize in this industry. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because we need to know the regulations in order to be able to translate that to customers, teach them, educate them and their staff on what are the clinical guidelines, what are the insurance company guidelines, what they need to know before we can actually press those buttons and send the claim out. So that's what's a little unique. Um, and, And again, setting us apart like we were like you asked me earlier is that education component there's some billing companies out there that press those buttons send those claims out but don't educate customers as to what needs to happen before that claim goes out so you can get maximum reimbursement so if i'm if i'm understanding you if if my company sends out uh, bills that are not correctly coded mm-hmm. and, and what have you, then it would be kicked back and then there would be a lag and uh, disbursement and, issues. and all of that kind. Okay. Absolutely. There's a lot of cash flow issues. Um, if you're not accurately coding, as you've mentioned, mm-hmm. or um, you know, p- following the correct procedures to get those claims out, either you'll have reimbursement issues 
where claims would could be underpaid or claims could be rejected mm -hmm. or even worse you could be in a situation where you're not being compliant with medicare regulations and you know that could be a bigger problem how does symmetry use technology uh, to make sure that its end users, mm -hmm. its clients, are up to speed on everything in terms of trends and regula regulatory yeah. changes and so on and so forth. So technology is actually a really important part of this business. Um, one thing I do want to say is we are software agnostic. And that's kind of an interesting term. But Explain that. Yes. So what that means is... We work with agencies all over the country, again, whether they're home health, hospice, um, skilled, non-skilled uh, home care agencies, and whatever each one of those agencies can have potentially a different EMR. So when I say EMR, mm -hmm. I mean electronic medical record system. So a software that the agencies have uh, within their agency, and we actually can work with whichever software the customer has. So that is also uh, very interesting where... So we, you're saying that you're able to integrate into correct. existing systems. Correct, correct. So... Um, and, and excuse me, but yeah. I would imagine that that's important as, as, as a business to not have to completely throw the baby out with the bathwater if they decide that they want to join your team and they already have some established processes and systems in place. Exactly. Um, just like you said, it's you, we don't have to start anything from scratch. It's just a matter of getting a username and password for whatever existing software they have, mm -hmm. and then we can generate the billing in their system. And, and that's really important for transparency. The agency would just you know house all of that data, and we would just process the claims in the system. But when you were talking about technology, what we do, which is an, we add that additional layer of technology on our side, where although we're still working with the agency's EMR, Mm -hmm. We will offer um, our own clearinghouse, for example, where it's just a third party tool that helps us. We grab the claims from the client's software, but then we process them through on our back end. And we're able to scrub those claims at a, a higher level, um, just tr hoping that we avoid common denials mm -hmm. because we've got much more sophisticated denial management tools that mm. we pay for that the clients don't necessarily have through their EMRs. That seems very significant oh, to me. Oh, it's very significant because imagine we can um, eliminate many common rejections right on, just right- Right off the bat. Right off the bat, right uh, because we're you know passing those claims through our clearinghouse. And on top of that clearinghouse, we also have some proprietary technology. That oh, also the secret sauce. The seat, that's the secret sauce that helps us expedite uh, those claims and increase agencies' cash flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and technology I mean, is important. I was going to say it, it, anything that you can use, anything that you can bring to your clients to ensure um, not just the bottom line. And I mean, let's face yeah. it, we're all interested in the bottom line, of course. Yeah. But it seems that there's a certain attitude, or I'm going to say a heart bent towards people that are in the caring industry. And the last thing that you want to be dealing with are the, the administrative minutia that can have a high impact on your bottom line if you're having a higher level of rejections or kickbacks or whatever. So anything that I'm looking for in a company to do my billing, is I'm going to be looking for somebody who can handle that and take that headache away from me. And that way I can concentrate on what it is that I'm here to do, which is to serve people, to help businesses become successful so that the end user on their end, those families, those people, they're able to receive better care and quality in terms and of that's services. And exactly, that's exactly right. We partner with agencies to ensure their success and right. ensure that they get paid so they can go out and focus on patient care. So tell me if you can just kind of rifle through your, your memories, Lynn, tell me, um, does a particular story come to mind, a success story of somebody that you've worked with or a new client or even an older client mm -hmm. that you have all have seen there was a hurdle, an obstacle, and you were able to help them get over it, get through it so that there was a, a, a nice, solid, good ending for them? Yeah, that's a great question because it definitely personalizes um, uh, in a story what we do. You know, if I think about that a bit, I can, you know, I think of two types of scenarios, mm -hmm. right? And these actually kind of repeat themselves. The first one is 
where we would work with a startup agency, for example, right? So when I say startup agency, it's typically a, a, a new home health or hospice that's owned maybe by a nurse that's been working at a hospital, maybe by a, a therapist, um, any kind of clinician that maybe mm-hmm. has been working for someone. Right, out or, in the field. Or, yeah, or or even just a lay person, right, <clears throat> that doesn't have a lot of experience in, in healthcare who's now coming into uh, the home health industry and really wanting to start their own business. Mm-hmm. Stop working for someone else, start their own business. Right. And they may not necessarily have a lot of experience in the home health uh, or hospice industry. Do you, do you find that to be the case a it, lot of times? We do. We do. Because what happens is there are, there's a lot of healthcare professionals out there who uh, have worked at hospitals, like I mentioned, skilled nursing facilities, but not all of them have experience working in a home health. And if they mm-hmm. do, maybe they were a field nurse. Mm-hmm. And when you're in the office, it's a whole nother world, mm-hmm. right? Patient care, uh, when you're touching patients, it's very different from the administrative side right. of things. So what I feel really proud uh, in these you know, two uh, scenarios, like I said, they, they kind of repeat themselves, um, where we've been able to help you know, these agency owners, administrators kind of their, make their dreams come true in the sense of help them understand the operations of a home health, help them understand the billing piece of it, give them that education that they need for us to ultimately be able to get the claim out for them to then get paid right. and then turn around and, and treat those patients. And all of a sudden they're a small business, a thriving right. small business. So I'm very, very proud of that. Um, I've been, you know, thanked a lot for people that say I'm finally working for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm still working a lot. I'm still, it's still hard work. Right. But at least I'm doing it for myself. So that's kind of one type of scenario that we see playing out a lot. And then, and then another scenario is kind of the opposite. Existing agencies who come to us defeated. Mm. Thinking, you know, we poured all of our money, all of our life savings into this agency, and it's not working out. Mm -hmm. They're having cash flow problems. They're struggling. They don't understand what's going on. They feel feel that they're up to the point that they might have to close. Mm -hmm. And then we come in. We audit uh, the agency records. We try to figure out what's going on with billing. We help them clean up. You know things that are issues that are going on with the agency, and then we get start getting that cash flow in, and all of a sudden, they're back. They're back with a with a viable business. So that's really exciting, also. You know, so many times people have a dream that they want to be able to execute, and it's great. I, I, mm-hmm. I tell folks this often. It sounds really good in my head. <laughs> but yes. you don't realize what you don't know until you realize you don't know it. Exactly. And something as critical to the success of a business as being able to make sure that that cla- cash flow process runs as smoothly as possible. And you don't know that that's a problem until all of a sudden you it's, realize, wait a minute, something's not working. And if the end of the day, if you're not able to make your bills, if you're not able to pay your staff or expenses that you have and oftentimes by then it's nearly too late exactly exactly um and so it is important to know you know when it's the right time to reach out Mm -hmm. right and ask for help and um like you said there's just there's so many different uh, tiny little components to this business that Mm -hmm. if they get out of control and the processes are not optimized or in place then yes you can be in a situation where uh, one, two, three, four payrolls go by and you haven't received your payment. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's a scary place to be in. Do you find that the folks that you work with are often a little bit, the skill sets are a little bit more tilted in one area than in another, that when you have these 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 dreams of wanting to build a legacy business, for mm-hmm. example, there are very personal reasons why people come into the field. But there's that, I can't help but, not lose sight of the fact that there's that wanting to help others component. And we all express that differently. But if you're a caregiver, if you have a heart to help people, and you see that that's part of the puzzle that you're putting together for your own personal, whether it's a legacy that you're trying to build for family, whether it's you're young and you're starting out and you're looking for a future for yourself because you still have time and years Mm -hmm. to do that. But so many times, for example, I, I tend to run a little bit more creative than analytical. Mm-hmm. So I know that I have strengths and weaknesses. And it makes sense to me 
to find somebody who can cover my weaknesses so that I can really just full tilt run my skill set in the direction that I know I'm gifted in. And that way it makes sense to be, we used to say, use your, use your weaknesses wisely. Oh, that makes sense. So yeah. do you, do you think that that's part of what people experience when they come to you? They, they have the heart to help. They have maybe the experience in the field. Mm -hmm. They have um, personal dreams and aspirations for success. And that success means different things sure. to different people. But they don't have that analytical administrative piece to the puzzle. And they need to know it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to budget that amount to make sure that we can cover and have that need met mm -hmm. so that we build for success from the very beginning instead of waiting until we're in trouble later on down the line because either we were too prideful, we just didn't know mm -hmm. what we didn't know. Yeah, absolutely. We do see that. Um, I think people recognize the level of expertise that we have in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a sense of comfort. Good. Right? Where they see that, you know, one of the things that's challenging in our industry is that in, uh, regulations change quite often. I, it, it almost feels like it's happening every three months. What does symmetry have in place to 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 deal with that fact? Yeah, and and you know we are one of the uh, leaders in this space from a from a billing coding standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, we're the thought leaders. So national uh, home care organizations, hospice organizations, state uh, home care and hospice organizations look to us in order to to, to present mm. the regulatory. Uh, changes either Medicare or, or from insurance companies um, to the to the to the industry. So you really are so, experts. Oh, absolutely. We travel all over the country to all the major conferences and present mm -hmm. present all of the regulatory changes. Um, so yeah, uh, we're definitely the thought leaders in this space, and just there's a certain level of comfort there because agencies can rely that we've got their back. We are are on top of all the regulatory changes where we'll inform agencies as to hey, you know, here's the latest update. You need to make sure you're doing this, this, or that. Or if it's from a billing or coding standpoint, we're already incorporating it into our own processes. So mm -hmm. when codes change, sometimes in October, I, uh, diagnosis codes change. We will, we already know. So we'll make sure we make those changes in diagnosis coding. And then, of course, let the agencies know. So they can sit back, again, like you said, focus on patient care, growing the business, that, that's an important piece of it too, right? And I think we can offer, so we're talking a lot about what we do, but also it's cost effective. It's cost effective. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. We have just a couple of minutes left. Yeah, because what happens is nowadays, you know, the world is changing, right? Isn't it though? It really is. And we are in a place where outsourcing certain components of the business is critical, um, it's more cost effective. It's a, it just makes sense. It doesn't makes it? sense because staffing is an issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, where are the people to work? I mean, I, sometimes I ask myself, "What's going on?" I know, on? right? Right. And so it's really hard to find uh, experts in the billing and coding area that you can hire, that you can count on, that you can hi exactly count on and hire in the office. And even if you do. It's really costly. Mm -hmm. So the way our models work out because of all the efficiencies and technology and AI and bots mm -hmm. and all those fancy ter technology terms that we've been able to incorporate in our business, we're able to pass those savings down to our customers. And it's much more cost effective for them to do billing and coding uh, with us and other financial services that we do as well. So they can, like we said, focus on, on the patients. Right. Right. That's really what we're here for. So... What would be one of the most meaningful thoughts that you can leave with our audience today as far as how you can become part of their team, why, how you would do it, how they would be able to find themselves taken care of by symmetry? Yeah, I, you know, that that's a good question. Um, you know, what I would say is agencies and agency owners, they, they it, it's costly to start a home health uh, or a hospice, or it's costly to operate um, uh, an existing agency. Knowing that you have a partner that can support you throughout the regulatory changes, keep you compliant, keep you out of trouble with Medicare, because you know it's easy to get in trouble with Medicare. 
and insurance mm-hmm. companies. They'll pay you for a claim, but if you miss checking a box or dotting an I or crossing a T, all of a sudden that money is taken back. So, you know, I, I really want agencies to know that there is a lot of regulatory guidelines behind, you know, the billing process and just really understanding that and knowing that they have a partner that, you know, we would be able to educate them on that. It's not just about pressing a couple buttons, billing something and getting paid you know, whatever amount. It's about just really understanding what those regulations are, staying compliant so you can have a future in this business, right? It's we want to make sure agencies think of the think of being around long term because we need them. I want to know that I am going to be taken care of. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right? By compassionate yeah. people. But I'm so afraid sometimes with a smaller or mid-sized companies, mm-hmm. they get into this business and don't realize, right? What it takes to get it, in it and stay in it and successfully. I'm, and I'm afraid, mm-hmm. right? So partnering. What will it be like 10, 20 years exactly, from now? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So partnering with a company like ours to help them stay compliant, help them stay in business mm-hmm. is is important for, for our future, really. Well, I think the word that you use that means the most to someone who's working to start a business and feels a little bit, inept or unsure of themselves in certain areas. And let's face it, it's easy to be a a jack of all trades and master of none. Yeah. But symmetry is a partner. Absolutely. It's a partner for success. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like anybody who's looking for opportunities to either maybe backtrack a little bit Mm -hmm. and catch up the slack and pivot somewhat with their billing and coding needs and finding someone who can partner with them to ensure success long term, that symmetry is probably an extremely, not probably symmetry, is a viable option. So I really appreciate you stopping by today. We're at the boot camp for 21st Century Healthcare Consulting this month. And uh, Lynn is gracious enough to come in and share as uh, not only a guest of mine, but also a speaker at the boot camp as part of our services here at 21st Century. I'm Kate Rose. Thank you so much for being with us. And if you like, subscribe, Make sure that we know that you're there and that we want to be able to serve you with the information and the guests in the future that make your business a success. Take care.